Hi, I'm Byron Johnson with Keep Connect, and I'd like to just talk to you a little bit about how to set up our cloud services. What does cloud services entail? It includes access to our mobile app. You can find it on the App Store. You can find it on the Google Play Store. What all does it entail to use this? So basically, your Keep Connect device is used locally at your home or business to monitor your internet connection. Cloud services is a place where you can see all of your Keep Connects in one location. You can manage them, you can trigger resets, you can see reset history and logs. You can see comprehensive logs across all your devices. You can, you can add many devices to Keep Connect cloud services and see, you know, are they online? Are they offline? There's another feature uh, called cloud service notifications. Cloud service notifications is very important because basically Keep Connect will heartbeat back with our servers constantly. If our servers stop hearing that heartbeat, it means that something has happened locally at the site of your Keep Connect and it's somehow offline. So our servers can tell that your Keep Connect has gone offline because it stops hearing this heartbeat signal. Our servers can then send you notifications that that device has gone offline and you can you can interpret that to mean various things we even have some customers set up offline notifications on a something that's not even a router maybe it's a garage freezer that you want to get a notification if the keep connect stops heart beating because it lost power that's actually another use case uh, we can talk about that in a separate video for how to use your keep connect with cloud services to detect power outages so let's talk a little bit more about the app and what all it entails. I'll go ahead and log into the app. We have a test user set up in our servers for this. So one thing to note is in order to be able to use Keep Connect Cloud Services, you have to have a subscription and the subscription is maintained on our website or you may end up with a screen like this that says no active service. It's You can't manage the subscription from the app itself. It has to be managed from our website. So I'll go ahead, uh, give me one second. I uh, will enable it on our website and we'll come back, refresh and retry. All right, I think that did it. We're gonna go ahead and hit retry here now that we've activated the service uh, for this test case. As you can see, here's what the app looks like for the very first load as a new customer. We'll read the welcome message and then we'll go ahead and continue. This is the page where you will add your first device. Uh, out of the box, your cloud services doesn't have any devices added. So basically you'll need to just enter in the web ID, the Keep Connect code, which is the MAC address of the unit. You can find the code and the MAC address in the text message or email that you receive during startup. Whenever you first connect to Keep Connect, you'll get a startup message if you set notifications for email or SMS. If you chose no notifications, you won't have a notification for it. You just need to email our support team and we can look that up for you in our database. We can look that up for you based off of a number of criteria for you. All right, so we're gonna enter for a test device. We're going to enter in a web ID, 3477, and a Keep Connect code. And all right, our Keep Connect code is the MAC address of the device with colons, you must input the colons. And then you just need to give your device a nickname. We'll just do My Home. This is the friendly name that will show up on your dashboard showing which Keep Connect you are referencing. So we'll go ahead and click register Keep Connect. Okay, and you can see there is your Keep Connect. You can see the status. If you choose to add more Keep Connects, they'll all appear on this dashboard screen and you can even hold them and drag and drop them. There's nothing really to do here on this one since we've already, since we only have one, doesn't make sense to drag and drop the order, but if you have many, you can drag and drop and reorder them so you see which ones you see first. You can then click into it and see some more information about this unit. You can see that it's online and connected. You can see kind of the options that you have here. You can trigger a reset on this unit, it gives you a pop-up menu. You can then back out if you don't want to. We'll go ahead and cancel on this one. You can view, change the settings. Let's see. You can modify the settings or set it up from defaults. Here it is. Here are the advanced settings. So it's, it's got all the same settings as when you set this up from scratch using the web portal. View reset history, you can see charts. 
I'm not sure this one has been reset recently, so we may have to go back to the all-time device logs. You could choose the range. Here's the all-time charts for this unit. And keep in mind, this is a test unit in our lab, so it doesn't have a lot of resets on its own. See, total resets, which ones are auto resets, which auto resets are the periodic scheduled resets. Here are the general TCP failure resets. You can see a whole list of them. Um, IP address changes, if your internet service provider gives you different IP addresses all the time, that could be a problem and a source of your issues. So our, our app tracks that. How often does your internet service provider change your IP address? More things to talk about, notification settings. Here's where you can customize the texts or emails that you receive from your Keep Connect. Without cloud services, you just get the default notifications. However, you can, for instance, customize your reset message to say whatever you want. Maybe you want to say your home device has reset, auto reset message. You can customize all the messages. Cloud notifications. This is something to look at where Cloud notifications is where you get notifications from our server if your heartbeat is not heard. By default, these are not enabled on your Keep Connect, so you'll have to enable these. You can enable them on this notification screen. The offline delay is how long do our servers wait after hearing your heartbeat drop off before sending a notification that your internet has failed. This may be useful for a case such as, you know, if, if it goes offline for a few minutes and comes back, do you really want a notification that it went offline? Maybe not, maybe you do. So you, we don't recommend setting it lower than 20 minutes because many intermittent issues can resolve themselves within 20 minutes. But you might can set this up to an hour or it's really up to your use case. How long would you like to wait with the, key, with the Keep Connect heartbeat offline before you actually send out the notification from our servers that the device is offline? Here are just some things where you can see what the default messages are as a reminder. Go back. The more device details just kind of gives you a, a dump of the whole database of what is known about this Keep Connect unit. And then back on the dashboard screen, if you hit the settings icon up here, you see some more options. Add and remove more Keep Connects. So here's where you would add and remove other Keep Connects as you have them. To remove them, you just go down here to the bottom screen and you select from a drop down which one you want to remove, and then you click Remove Selected Keep Connect. Some other options are, are cloud notifications. Here is another place in the settings where you can enable cloud notifications. Again, just as a reminder, this is when the server sends you a message that the heartbeat signal has been lost from the Keep Connect. You can scroll down your list of registered Keep Connects and put in an offline delay. Again, this is how long. The server waits after hearing the heartbeat drop out before sending you the message. In general, we recommend 20 minutes. Then you click subscribe Keep Connect. That subscribes your Keep Connect to the listening device that listens for heartbeats and sends out notifications when the heartbeat is not heard from. Another thing you can do here from the settings area is you can see the comprehensive logs. This would be logs or charts from all of your Keep Connects that are connected. All of your registered Keep Connects you can see that it flags the Keep Connects by their name. For instance, it's bolded here that my home has these reset reasons, as well as the date and timestamps on these resets. That's really all for this tutorial. Thanks for tuning in and we hope to hear from you soon.